Today, we're going to talk about how to reverse a condition called acanthosis nigricans. Okay, now what is that? That's a situation where you have this gray-brown hyperpigmentation, it's kind of a darkening, on the back of your neck, on the side of the neck, on the armpits. It could be in certain other places, but it has a kind of a velvety texture to it, and it's symmetrical, which means it's on both sides, okay, or both armpits. Now, it's associated with diabetes, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, Cushing syndrome, which is high cortisol, and metabolic disease, okay? Now, if you look it up in Wikipedia, it'll say that the majority of cases are idiopathic. This is a very fancy word for, I don't know what's causing it, okay? Unknown cause. But this condition is primarily caused by excessive amount of insulin, okay? Hyperinsulinemia, too much insulin in the blood. And parallel with that, you have insulin resistance. So these go hand in hand. If you have insulin resistance, your body will then make more insulin, so you're gonna have too much insulin. And that's what's creating this right here. And that's why it's associated with diabetes, PCOS, Cushing's, and metabolic syndrome. You can call it disease if you want, but this is what's behind all these right here. Now, if you look at what Wikipedia says about hyperinsulinemia, what causes that, it lists tumor, carb malabsorption, which I'm not sure exactly what that means, pancreatic cancer, PCOS, trans fats. What are they missing? They're missing the primary cause, okay? Eating too many carbs. I find it very, very interesting that the actual root cause of hyperinsulinemia is not even on the page. And so when people read this or study this, they're gonna go, oh, maybe I should go to the doctor and get a uh, MRI or a CAT scan and make sure I don't have a tumor. Or maybe I should go to a GI doctor to see if I have carb malabsorption. Or maybe an oncologist to see if I have pancreatic cancer or a fertility doctor to see if I have PCOS. And so you have all these different specialists which have their own specialized knowledge, but unfortunately, a lot of times they don't look at the whole picture and the common thread that is throughout all of these conditions right here. And this is it right here. So very simply, what you need to do if you have this condition is lower the amount of carbs in your diet. That's really all you need to do. And it will reverse this right here. Very, very A to B. Give it a shot, then comment down below.